Hey guys, Pat McSherry here, and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about fishing jig wraps for walleyes and just the basic techniques and setups that we're using to catch fish. And right now, the walleyes are starting to school up in the shallows on the sand, right on the edge of the weeds in like 14 to 20 feet of water. You can see them all over on the side imaging on the sand. Basically all you need, I prefer about a 6-8 medium extra fast action rod. This is a Deadeye Custom. It's a great rod for jig wrap fishing. 8 pound braid down to an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader with a snap. That way I'm able to switch colors really fast if I want to try something else. But the main technique with this, I'm marking some fish on the side imaging to the right right now. I'm going to pitch out at those fish and I'm going to work it back to the boat. And the key is that that bait hits the bottom fairly often. You don't need it to hit the bottom after every pump but I'm just kind of snap jigging this. There's one right there. <clears throat> so that fish picked it up right off the bottom on the pause and you're just hopping that thing around. So it's, it's coming back towards the boat. It's darting from side to side. It's hitting the bottom in between each little rip and it's a really good reaction strike for catching walleyes this time of year. We've got just a little guy here, but that's the basic technique. Oh, look at that. It's a tagged walleye. <laughs> That's cool. So you can see that fish right there. Ate it head first. He pinned that thing towards the bottom. I'm just going to get him unhooked. Nice little fish. Couple tags right there. That's pretty cool. I'll get that fish back. And that's all there is to it. Mark fish, pitch out at them, and you work that thing back towards the boat, and you want that thing to hit the bottom every one to two pumps. It gives the fish a chance to track it and pin it right to the bottom and you're hooked up.